Let's take the mystery out of all those operation functions and figure out what they mean. Hi Cricut users. So you're trying to figure out how to use that operations function in Cricut Design Space. Well, I'm gonna show you how. It's uh, not too difficult, but there are a few things that might help you in your Cricut Design journey. So first of all, I've uploaded two uh, different type images on Cricut Design Space. The, the, one, uh, that I'm, the one on the left, is a basic cut and I'm going to tell you the mo one of the other important things that will help you is your layers panel over here it's going to tell you what every single little piece you have in your designs the function of it is then when you click on this one which is the calla lily bouquet it is a print then cut I'm going to kind of show you what the differences are with the operations for each type of this file um, if you haven't used Cricut Design Space for a while you may remember this up here as called line type I think operation is a much better description of what this does. So when you're ready to figure out all the goodies, one of the most important things you need to remember is the type of machine that you're going to use. Right now I'm going to go ahead and click on the maker because this opens up most of the operations that are available to do. So I'm going to click I'm going to take this little guy and over here on the eyeball, I'm just going to click on that. And that doesn't mean it's gone. It's just not visible right now until I click back on that eyeball so I can see it again. So right now you can see on my layers panel, it says basic cut. And if I wanted to change that, I can go up here and I get a drop down box when I click on basic cut. And because I've selected the mayor, sorry, the maker as my machine, I have an awful lot of um, options I can do if I wanted to, to this particular flower bouquet um, image. So right now you've got the basic cut. If I hit wavy, it, it's not going to change at all, but you are going to need to put in the tool in your maker that does a wavy cut and it, it's exactly what it says it, it, it cuts not a straight line but a, a wavy line so if i go ahead now and click on perforate it changes the look of it and i have these little dots right here so it's going to cut this out as a perforation and you can see I've got that over there. And some people say, what in the world would I want a perforation tool for? Well, you know, sometimes people make little tickets and tearaways, and this is exactly what you can use that for. The next um, options I have are draw. And I could draw this with a pen. And you do have the option here to select the type of pen that you're going to use if you wanted to draw this image and also the colors of your pen. So if that's really not what you want to do, you can go to foil. And the foil is a tip that you do put in um, where your pen goes on your machine. So you can use that with a maker and also an explore series. And so you just tell the, um, you also select which size tip you have, because if you buy the Cricut foiling tip, you get three different tips, fine, medium, and bold. And if you click on it, you get a different look. And so this would actually foil on a piece of paper, this outline. The next one is score. And you can use um, with a maker, either your scoring wheel or a scoring stylus. And when you go to make it, you will need to tell um, the, you will need to tell Design Space which one of these tools that you are using. Um, you probably would not want to score this whole thing, but scoring is wonderful if you're trying to make a card or anything that has a fold in it. And then you have deboss. Now what deboss is gonna do is it's a tip that's going to push down on your paper. So it's going to make like a dent in it. And if you flip it over, you are going to have that, um, that uh, debossing show um, 
going up on the other side. Hope that makes sense to you. And then engrave. And there's an engraving tool that you can also use. And this is just going to tell the tool how to and where to engrave. And then the last thing you could possibly do is you could do a print then cut. So what that does is it now changes it from a completely cut file to you need to print this first and then cut it. So I'm going to show you something a little quickly. If I click on make it, it's going to print like this and it's going to also print this little screen right here. And maybe you're saying that I really don't want to cut each little piece out individually. Well, that's that's fair enough. So down here and it's highlighted is flatten. And if you click on flatten, because it kind of goes along with your operation, then when you go to make it, it's going to print the whole thing just like that, and then it will cut it. So, however, print and cut is limited in your sizes. So if I make this really big like that, it's going, I'm going to get an error. And if I click on that error, it's going to tell me image is too size too large to reduce it down. And this is the limits of print and cut, 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches. I really wish Cricut would make it an eight by 10. Maybe they will. But when you get an error message like this from Cricut on, on in the layers panel uh, in design space, you just click on it and it should tell you exactly what, what, your, what your error means. So now I've reduced it in size and that is gone. So let's go back though to um, let's click out and click back on. Okay, so it doesn't really want to go back. Print and cut can be a little kind of fiddly sometimes. So let's unflatten. And now we can just go back to a basic cut. So when I hit unflatten, that, that took away the ability to print and cut that whole piece and now we have a print. We now have a just regular cut. So it's going to cut each one of these colors differently. So I'm going to make this one go away and I'm going to click on my calla lily. Now this one is already a print then cut. So if I go in here and I decide to change it to just a cut file, I'm just going to get this black image, which is you know, don't necessarily want that. So let's go back to print then cut. And again, print then cut's a little fiddly. So if I click on the little flower here, I can do a few other little things that you may or may not like. You have the original artwork, or I could just change it to a color, which I don't particularly care for, or I can make the whole image with a pattern. And I'm just gonna click on this and, no, I don't particularly care for that, especially either. It kind of loses the whole beauty of those lilies. So you can go back to original artwork, click on restore, and you're back. So just kind of showing you, again, the difference on the machines. If I were to click the Cricut Joy, I, get an, I immediately get a, an alert here, and it says it's too large. But it also says it's not supported by the Joy. So if you have a Cricut Joy, which is really a wonderful little machine, you cannot do a print then cut. You can only do a cut, I believe, and draw. So let's go ahead to, and I'm gonna bring my guys back here. And if I change this to a Cricut Explore family, which I have one, and you go up here, you're going to notice that uh, anything that requires the Cricut tool, like the perforation, the deboss, the wavy, that's all gone. So I hope this kind of helps you a little bit about what the operation is. But my main suggestion is just experiment with it. Look at what your operation is or look at your layers panel. That's going to be a big help in telling you what your design is. Um, don't be afraid. Have fun. And thanks for watching.